everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am ready to cook my lunch, and I thought I would do just a very quick video. I'm practicing at making videos quicker. I ran out last night to buy some meat. I needed some ground beef, and I needed some roast beef. I saw this reduced in meat. It was only... 155. It was originally 149 a pound, and this package was 155. I got 30 cents off, so I paid 125. It is two pork spare ribs. So since I am doing something a little different, I just thought I'd show you. I'm going to cook these and then add my usual mix of meat, and I will be making my yummy lunch. So let's go over to the counter. I have my burner on high, and I'm going to add a piece of butter. This is what I cook with now. And I am using a pan that has a cover just to get this cooking faster. I'll probably be making enough for like two or three days. Oh, what nice looking ribs. And then sometimes I just take a knife and I just go through a little bit like that just to give it some spaces in there so it will cook faster. Well, this is going to cook fast. This is tender stuff. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It's going to be so good. Okay, I'm already just going to turn this down to like number five. I'm going to cover it and I'll just check it in a bit. A good five minutes have passed. I'm just going to flip these. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to turn the burner down to like two, and I'm just going to let that cook for like maybe another ten minutes, and then I'll be adding my other meat in there. It's been ten minutes. I'm going to just turn these again, and I'm going to add some beef eye round that I just cut up. Last one. And I'm going to add some rump roast that I cut up. I did turn this up to five to let this cook. I'm just going to stir this up a bit. And I think I'll go ahead and add my bacon. I use bacon ends. And I think I'll put them all in there. I'm going to have to go to the store for bacon ends. And I'm going to put in some ground beef. Break that up a little bit. Uh, this will be probably four days worth because I'll also be eating roast beef too. Try to break up these bacon ends. Oh, if you can get bacon ends, that is like a meat eater's dream come true. All right, I'm going to cover this again. I'm just going to let that sit for about 10, 15 minutes, and I will come and stir it up some more. Okay, we're only about 10 minutes in since I added everything else. I'm just going to turn this stuff around. Oh, all that lovely broth that we have going in there. I'll just put these on the top now. Those are very cooked. Just let that ground beef cook up a bit and we will be done. I haven't even been putting pepper lately. I just love the taste of the meat and no salt. I don't put the salt at all because the bacon, even though I buy bacon ends, they're not anywhere near as salty as the bacon, but you know, I don't eat salt. I want to taste my meat. <laughs> so I'm going to cover that. I'll come back in like another five or ten. Ooh, that's really cooking. It's only been like another five minutes. I'm turning this off and I'm considering it done. This smells amazing. I'm just going to turn it off and let it sit there for a little bit. Then I'll show you my plate. Okay, I took one rib and these really look like a pork chop. I don't know. And then I just took meat. <laughs> And I like to fill my plate so that I know I have plenty. I do try to eat slower because one day I ate until I was full and it was too late. I was way full. Now I try to eat slower and I even try to put my plate down when I think I might start to be getting full and I wait a little bit. If I'm not yet full, I go back to eating some more. And anything that doesn't get eaten is just going back into the refrigerator and I will finish it later. So I do this and then I pour some of the broth in there. I add a piece of butter on top because I'm super spoiled and I love my butter. Then I'm going to add some lovely roast beef. 
and I dip the roast beef in the juice that collects in the bottom of the plate. That's it! I cannot stress enough how much I absolutely love going from low carb to zero carb. I am just feeling so good and so happy. And if you want to see what I'm doing, you can follow me on my blog, DarleneMishu.com, and on my YouTube channel, Darlene Michaud. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye!